So I love Zelda games, but not everything is perfect. Some things are bad with them. I mean, no one is perfect, and when you are an entire video game series, there is due to be some imperfections. So today, we're gonna go and look down that shithole of terrible ideas they might have, and find the worst one yet. Man, this place is awful. If you want to have a miserable time, you are in luck. Otherwise, you will be definitely disappointed. This place is a temple on Murkay Island, the starting island of the game. You originally go there to save Linebeck, then keep returning there to collect more sea charts until you eventually reach the bottom floor to face the final boss of the game. You only have a finite amount of time you can be there too, as the Phantom Hourglass counts down the seconds until you can go back to an actual fun part of the game. The place is filled with phantoms and monsters all over the place, and you have to sneak by them. You can kill some of them on I guess, and when you get the Phantom Sword at the end of the game, you can kill every single one. But being at the end of the game, it doesn't really count, it's basically a stealth place. And just, yeah, this place sucks. It's like if you're in an interview to be a janitor at the local Taco Bell. You ain't sure why you were forced to be there, and you really want to get the fuck out of there. Hell, even the interviewer wants to get out of there, because he ain't happy too, it's just that bad. And to talk about why this dungeon sucks, allow me to break it down into four categories. The stealth gameplay. The annoying challenges, repeatability, and cute puppies. Yes, if you can make it through the rant, I will reward you with some cute puppies. So let's talk about the main gameplay of this place, the stealth gameplay. As mentioned, there are phantoms that are invincible until the end of the game and the other enemies that only help bring these ship bags to your location. So naturally being invincible, you have to sneak around them. Now stealth gameplay isn't usually bad, but in this case it's just not that fun. It feels slow paced waiting for the phantoms instead of nerve wracking as hell for if they're gonna catch you. This is mainly due to the fact that you know where these dumb fucks are thanks to you having a map screen where you can follow every single one of their moves. Wait in one of the safe spots that they can't actually see you or actually count down the hourglass time, yeah you're stuck in this place for even longer in the time limit. And when the coast is clear you can do your thing and you're, you're done. The stealth gameplay isn't about suspense, learning the best route to navigate, or timing your escape. All this is figured out instantaneously and by watching these obese nutcrackers waddle around. The best elements of stealth gameplay just simply aren't here. Just like how this dungeon sucks the life out of Link, the fun gameplay was sucked out of this place by the developers. You guys might also be wondering why the footage is pretty much just the first floor and nothing else. Well check this out! When you play on the Wii U download store you get this shit. It's like a video shot vertically while watching on a flat screen TV. It will make you want to smash the TV. Oh, fuck yeah! Fuck you, man. Fuck you! Or if your team loses, that that also works too. Fucking shit! Fuck this shit! Yes, the game on the Wii U is this fucking bad. You would think they'd fix a game after a decade after it came out, or at least make it playable when they ported it to another console. But they didn't, and now I'm ten bucks poorer, so that's really sad. Not as sad as this temple, though. But still sad. So now the annoying challenges, this is like the homework assignment you get from your teacher only to find out the next day that it wasn't graded so doing it was completely worthless. This temple has several puzzles to solve and they vary in enjoyment. And I guess not all are bad, managing to get the shaped crystals throughout the 7th and 9th basement floors comes to mind as a pretty fun puzzle, but just most aren't this fun, it's more dumbed down from the temple puzzles and of course you have to look out for those phantoms. One thing that I can immediately think of is the musical floors. If you run fast enough, it makes noise and the phantoms come over to investigate. This adds to the other point where the terrible stealth gameplay meets an annoying challenge to result in an abomination. An ugly, disgusting abomination. It is a shame as Zelda temples and challenges typically work in harmony together, but in this temple must have been dropped on its temple as a child and it hasn't been the same since. So now on to the last and worst part, the repeatability. Just like how I'm replaying the same footage again in this video, you have to repeat this temple each time you visit it. Yeah, you get the first C chart in Basement 3, and then you have to repeat that all again, and then get to Basement 6 to smash your DS or something, and then you have to repeat that all again to get the C chart at the bottom of Basement 9. They do have a checkpoint in Basement 6 that you can activate when you're trying to get that third C chart, and they also get newer items you get throughout the game that make these puzzles easier. But this can't salvage this dumb of an idea. It's like doing the same problem again and again and again for your math assignment. It's getting too ingrained in your head, and it becomes just plain torture. Look, I don't want to get raped in the ass only to have to get raped in the ass again to then have a dick shoved down my throat. I don't want to do any of this stuff, let alone have to repeat any of it. 
I honestly don't know why they kept this in the game. It's one of the most blatant things they removed when they switched over to Spirit Tracks and had the Spear Tower Dungeon. If there's a psychic out there and can read the developers' minds back when they were making the game in 2006 or something, and figure what they were thinking about this mechanic, I'd love to hear it. But alas, like changing a baby's diaper, you just have to deal with this shit. So yes, the Ocean Temple was bad, which is a shame as Phantom Hourglass was actually a pretty good game. Maybe it's not as good as the other Zelda games, the controls are pretty atrocious, but compared to most games, it's pretty fun. I also promised the cute puppy, so that's the footage you're seeing right now, as I was certainly out of footage of the Ocean Temple at this point. And I would say it's nice to end on a high note with the puppies. It at least puts a little charm to the end of this video. A very depressing video. Of a very depressing dungeon. Having to replay this game is like sinking to the bottom of the ocean. You just know the eventual doom is coming every single time.